is Leah and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are returning subscribers, you know what today is. It is Fandom Friday. And if you guys are new to my channel, uh, every Friday, or at least I try to, um, I talk about all the latest and greatest fandom news. So make sure you guys subscribe and let's just get started. So today, you know, I dropped my Ant-Man and the Wasp movie review. So make sure you guys go check that out. I'll leave it up here somewhere. Um, and that's pretty much the biggest thing that happened in Marvel. It debuted Thursday night at 11 plus million, which is, a, like, much more than Doctor Strange already, just on Thursday night opening alone, which is kind of crazy. It seems that everybody was really anticipating going to see it just because it's, like, the glimmer of light after what they left us for Infinity War. We have a long wait until we're gonna see another, well, long for us, it's, like, ten months, until we're gonna see another Marvel movie. Um, Captain Marvel is next up. Just a quick one if you don't want to watch my whole review. I thought that uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp was a good film. Um, it wasn't anything great or spectacular, but it was your typical lighthearted superhero film, and you got to go along for the ride. Um, it was very fun. It wasn't anything too crazy. I do wish, I think that they had a lot of missed opportunities that could have turned the film from good to great or amazing, um, or something that we haven't seen before, because this was very typical. Um, I do wish that they delved more into the quantum realm, um, and I wish that they had more of the OG Wasp, I keep calling her that, um, but I wish that they had more backstory for some of the characters. Moving on to my second half of Fandom Friday, like, you heard correctly, I only have two parts, really. I just really wanted to talk about Marvel, and uh, now that I've done that, I'm moving on to Star Wars. Hi, I switched it up. If you guys haven't noticed, I always start with Star Wars for Fandom Fridays, but... If you guys didn't know, um, Disney has been creating its own sort of Star Wars world or like park and it's going to be called Galaxy's Edge. I think I talked about it uh, months ago in one of my other Fandom Friday videos, but it's set to, it doesn't have a specific month or release date, but we'll probably, if you live in Florida, see it in the fall of 2019. It looks super amazing. So if you guys don't know, I, it's kind of like they took the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you know, Universal's park, and they decided, okay, what do we have that has just as much weight as Harry Potter? We have Star Wars, uh, so they're kind of expanding on what they already have and creating an entire world for it. It's going to feature a whole new planet with an entirely different backstory. If you guys didn't know, they're going to have a cantina. Nothing is confirmed on the menu, though, except for blue milk, which, okay, that's enough for me to know. I'll just go there for the blue milk. I don't know about anything else on that menu or if it will even have alcohol, but there is going to be a cantina there. There will be two rides, I believe, but they haven't really said much on the, like, special effects secrets or, like, lightsabers or anything else, but it's gonna be your own little Star Wars world, and they're gonna have a hotel on site that's specifically Star Wars, so yeah, save up your money now if you want to stay in that, because you guys know Disney is ridiculously overpriced, so I'm super excited to continue to follow that storyline, um, eventually when it does open. I hope that I can go, um, um, but yeah, the only other thing in Disney news is uh, if you guys haven't seen the Nutcracker trailer, that looks amazing. It looks like Disney's going to have a much darker twist and spin on the Nutcracker, which I was so excited when I saw this trailer. I honestly was like, oh my goodness, if they actually go full force and make this really dark, this is going to be the most amazing thing. So if you guys haven't caught that trailer and you love Disney or you love the Nutcracker or anything else, go watch that trailer now. I am super excited for that film to come out. Um, and that's going to wrap up this week's Fandom Friday. Make sure you guys leave comments down below. I love when you guys get involved in Fandom Friday. If you want to leave topics or things that you want me to talk about next Fandom Friday, Friday, I would absolutely love that. Um, make sure you guys subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.